test the hypothesis using the p-value approach. Be sure to verify the requirements of the test. So HO, the null hypothesis is p equals 0.1 versus H1. We often use HA. So p is greater than 0.1. And I've given you N. So this is from our sample. We have a total of 125. X was 23. And alpha is 0.1. And we are not going to be using the tables here. So let's go ahead and calculate the test statistic. So within StatCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, Proportion Stats. We have one sample, and we just have the summary data. Okay, so the number of successes was X, which is 23, all over 125. This is sort of a context-free problem. So not my favorite, but just get you started. So we're doing a hypothesis test, so we're changing that to 0.1. Notice it automatically changes it for HA. And just for this first time, I'm going to do this optional graph p-value plot. You do not have to do this. Press compute. Okay, so here is our test statistic right here. T two decimal places, it'd be 3.13, and here's our p-value. And this is p-value plot here. Okay, and go ahead and make sure we change this from not equal to to greater than. And then press compute, and I'm going to go ahead and select this p-value plot just to show you something. You don't have to do this, but just to make a connection to something that we have done before. That This is really nothing new. So always check. Here's our HO, p, p equals 0.1, HA or H1 is p is greater than 0.1, right there. Here's our count, 123, 125. There we go. Our sample proportion. So when I divide, 23 divided by 125, I'm going to get 0.184. Here is our test statistic at 3.13. Here's our p-value. Now I'm going to click this next button here, and notice it gives me a, sort of a familiar normal curve. Notice how far out this value is. It's way beyond two standard deviations. It's even beyond three. In fact, that's what the z-stat tells me. It's more than three standard deviations are away from the mean. That would be highly unusual um, to occur by chance. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Test statistic, 3.13. What was our p-value? Now be careful here. This says 0 0.0009. So I'm going to round it to three decimal places. That's going to be 0.001. So that 9 pushes that over to the 1. Now in my class, on a, like a show work part, 0 0.0009 is, is fine. Okay, there we go. So now what decision will we make? And again, it's all based on the p-value in this class. You can also base it on the test statistic, but we're not going to do that. Let's use the p-value. When the p is low, reject HO. So this is pretty low. That means that we would only see a sample this extreme one out of every thousand times, if indeed it were true. If indeed p was 0.1. It's, it's not 0.1. It's much, much larger than that. So we're going to reject this equality. So it's most likely larger. In fact, over here, we saw that we got a sample portion of about, about 0.184, so about 18.4% versus 10%, almost double. That's unlikely to happen, but due um, to chance. So we're going to reject HO because the p-value is less than alpha. And the question is how low is too low when this is below a set alpha level. So reject HO, p-value is less than alpha. Okay, hope that helps.